everybody and welcome on today's video. Today it's the beginning of October and well as you see a whole lot of leaves of my uh, fusion um, field maple project have uh, dropped which is normal in October and as you might remember if you are following the channel there's a playlist on this project uh, I have still a few gaps here and a huge gap here um, some comments say that that gap was was nice now yeah I, I must admit that it, it has uh, some charm but I'd like to have the close um, tree to start with and well I'll see how it evolves so let's come a little closer because there are some details that I'd like to show you now the first and obvious thing is these two pieces of uh, foam uh, why are they here well because I removed a whole lot of substrate here already so that I could use uh, well that I had the space to put new trees in so, so here and here it's much bigger of course um, so yeah uh, now I know that there is nothing growing there and that the trees that are still in the pot are doing uh, quite okay so that's one thing that's nice and then uh, of course as you see lots of fusion in the top here which is great uh, there is fusion here behind this leaf you can see that the trees are starting to fuse also here in the middle so that's really nice it means that it's working so I'm very happy uh, I just need to replace a few I don't think that I showed you that that properly so there's a fusion uh, at the base here and here here it is very obvious uh, so it means that the whole concept is is working but uh, a little bit too slow I think yeah so the reason why this tree is in this spot is well because I wanted it in a nice spot and uh, it was the only one that I could find well find I had to buy it of course um, that I could afford and that was acceptable but yeah I don't think it's a good pot it's a little bit too small so I'm going to transport this and use of course the opportunity to um, to add a couple of trees I'll probably have to cut a little bit of the roots in the bottom but I'm not sure uh, the pot that I'm going to use is a slightly bigger pot it's a wooden box that I made I more and more start to think to grow my trees in boxes and all these things before they really are top trees that could enter a show but there's a very little chance that I enter a show because well I'm in no club or something so why should I and I like my trees to be healthy and well growing so while I was explaining all this I just removed the moss that I'm going to keep of course and then I'm going to get the tree out um, and uh, take my big wooden box so getting the tree out I think it's going to be very easy because this is uh, just a pot like that so but okay I'll have to be very careful yeah so as you see lots of roots so now I'm going to get my uh, wooden box so here it is same concept that I uh, used making the other big box that you might have seen on a uh, other video so uh, that's uh, well, a big box if you compare it to this one well it fits in it as you see the width is a whole lot more so that will give the tree a whole lot of uh, space to grow in uh, the depth well I have this and I have this so that's almost exactly the same so I'm just going to remove a little bit of the root mat at the bottom there probably cutting away some of the new roots from this year but I don't 
care. I think that uh, the tree can do without it. Yeah, well, it will have to because we'll need some space to have new roots in spring. So I'm going to reduce the root mat by one centimeter and then we'll get the cuttings. So I said cuttings, it was not right, it is seedlings of course. Now here I'm a little bit in doubt, should I remove all these new white roots? Well, I don't know, uh, but I'm going to. Just a root net here. And I'm quite sure that the whole pot is filled with nice roots now. So by just removing this mat, I don't think I'm doing too much harm to the tree, especially because we have still a couple of weeks before the weather gets bad. Drainage screens. You see that there's not a whole lot of roots here. It's just the circling ones. So I remove the edge. Like so. And that's it. So no more reduction. I'm just going to open up now the root ball slowly with my chopstick. Especially uh, front and back. little shadow problem here I see it's not going to be easy to film this and this pot was really well too small would have been great for a finished tree maybe but this tree needed some more growing and like I said, these pots, well, they are so expensive, I cannot, I cannot uh, do that. There are priorities in life and, well, one must be reasonable. Okay, I think that's all that I want to do. Just opening up the sides. There's quite a lot of old soil in this. See even these clay balls that I used years ago. Very wet. So maybe I'm just going to take the opportunity and remove some of that stuff. As you've seen, that really wet stuff, there's not a whole lot of roots, so that's too wet. I more and more think that it's good to have some organic material, but this is too much. So, there's nothing growing here. I might as well replace that with better draining substrates. Okay. That's good. Let's have a look at these uh, seedlings. The cuttings are in the bucket here and uh, well I removed all these clay balls from the thing. Look at this. There were no roots here. No. Well, that one and that one. That's all. So you see, drainage really is a good thing. Um, but that means that I can put this tree a whole lot deeper in the pot 
that I can spread out these roots because well now they are a little bit um, on the edgy side but I prefer to have them nice and flat and if necessary they can come a little higher in the pot which is also nice because that means that I can leave uh, that in the in the pot for the coming two or three years and then well then then I'm gonna be there so will it fit in this pot I think so um, gonna need uh, a good layer of the soil here first so I have a two drainage holes a huge drainage screen and now a good layer of just draining stuff and then I'll add a mountain of the same stuff with a little bit of organic a quarter a third something like that and then I'll position the tree and then I will put the see that's a whole lot of draining stuff and this is the, the same but with with some um, well organic material in I'm gonna mix this because this, this organic stuff, it retains a little bit of um, moisture, which in the summer is a good thing. And as long as we have good drainage, I'm going to be happy. So now, of course, uh, if I want to put this in this pot for a few years, I really want to see where a nice front of this is because well it's just a wooden box you know but this is nice with the this has a little sign here okay so let's take this and then the tree it's perfect it's just perfect so this is the front so let's have a look at the tilt let's have a look at the angle so the position in the pot is always quite easy when it is a round pot because then you just put your tree right in the middle so for the tilt it might be nice to have it a little more like this so I'll add a little more substrate here like so just a little more yeah that's too much but then, of course, you have to wiggle it in a little bit. Now, that's nice. I wonder if I could use a little more substrate everywhere. I think, because you're not going to see the roots this way. So, j maybe just a little. <coughs> Half an inch. So this is all the new soil that this tree is going to have to grow and that's quite a lot. Ah, that's more like it. So I'm going to work the, the roots in now and I, I kind of like some roots sticking out just a little. Uh, it, it's nice to have a nice good uh, balanced root base radial I agree on that but it's also nice to have just this one root being the rebel because it sometimes it's a thin line between beautiful and artificial you know mm -hmm. Okay, so that's going to do. I feel that this one is not staying where I want him to stay, so 
I'm gonna use a little piece of wire here and force him down a little but I don't think that these things really work well well a little okay so the tilt is okay the front is here and now the cuttings they're in the bucket and uh, well some of these have radial roots which is not necessary but if that's what I do that's okay for me I'm just gonna put them in tuck all the roots in there were a few that I really prepared for this purpose um, so one there and tuck it in it's uh, a deja vu <laughs> I love this word deja vu it's English they say but it's absolutely not it's French and it is deja vu which means already seen it's just what it means it doesn't mean more or less than that already seen so I said it was a deja vu <laughs> I did exactly the same with my palm grenade fusion a couple of weeks ago this is also a very good one with the roots on one side which is what you don't want when you are creating a normal tree then you want uh, spreaded roots but here I don't want spreaded root I want roots to one side which is the outer side so this fills up the gap very nicely here I have still a gap but I still have trees so still have two of them and I don't think that I need two but I will put two sorry you cannot see this well that's a uh, that's a strange one no yeah okay well it'll work let me see so I have a piece of wire here that I'm just going to use when I'm positioning all these trees and, and putting them in the ground but this piece of wire should not stay here very long it's just to make sure that everything stays in place for a couple of minutes well I redid the whole thing because I thought it was a little bit too high in the pot and that I would not be able to cover the roots properly and that of course is what you don't want you want your roots to be happy and growing well so that's of course my first concern so um, yeah still not 100% happy so this is the front let me have a look yeah now uh, of course the trees are not fixed in the pot and are not fixed between the trunks but that's going to be something for the, the spring I think now it's just root work so I'm going to position the roots as well as I can so getting them radial till the, they reach the end of the pot and then they can circle and once that I have that well it's just for the new trees of course 
The other ones are already set in stone. Well, no, set in soil. That's going to be uh, quite an impressive root base. So now I'm just going to fill this up, work the soil in, you know, little by little. And I'll be back when this is done. So after 20 minutes of chopsticking, if that even is a verb, I can say that this tree is in its spot. Uh, with the soil mounted up a little bit too high, of course, and uh, that's why I'm going to apply the moss that I had here. But yeah, it's um, going to be a little colder, a little more wet, so the moss will spread rapidly. And it's going to be here for the winter, that moss, because it will hold everything nicely in position. And then in spring I'll probably remove the moss for, for a moment. Get rid of some of the topsoil. And that's better then because then you will have a, a better look on the Nebari. So this moss is really not in a perfect condition, but it'll do the trick holding everything where it's supposed to be, especially at the top. Since I have a couple of pieces left, I'll try to use it everywhere. So all these open spots will quickly fill in. And that's it. Well, you're looking at the front now and all the trees that are sticking out have to be uh, put in position. Uh, but that is only is something that I will only do when the, the trees are starting to grow again or root again or when the soil has settled a little because of the rain. And then you can apply some pressure on the trunks, but I'm not in a hurry. Uh, I'm also very happy that, that tree, this tree has now really good substrate. That probably explains why it took so long to uh, to grow well. So well, yeah, that's it. Okay, well, if you want to see how this tree started uh, and how it will evolve, you can, of course, subscribe to the channel. If you like this, well, please share, like, subscribe, la na ni and uh, everything you know. So, thank you for watching and see you next time.